Shelly, why is your turtle tank so loud? Sorry, I scared the shit out of you. I'm an, I'm an asshole. Sorry, Shelly. Anyway, what's up, guys? Is the Balasong community ready to become oppressed? That's right, boys. You know what's gonna be in this by the title of the video. But before you start writing all your racist hate comments and start bitching, let's at least unbox it first so we can get a nice little reveal. I'm actually gonna remove any form of address I have on this. Gotta remove my address so the butthurt bitch boy Balasong boomers don't come and try and murder me. All right, I have my authentic replicant to unbox my unauthentic alpha beast. Oh shit, this is gonna be such a fun video. Oh, looks like I won't have to put it together, which is a good thing. There's all the spare parts. Last time I got one of these, I had to put it together. Oh, boy. You guys ready? Yeah, I won't have to put it together. Oh, my God. That feels crazy. First flip. Ooh. You guys didn't see that, but wow, that feels really good. So, literally seconds out of the box basically no play and then we silence this latch there's a tiny bit of tap but i don't care about any of that i'm gonna remove this latch right now everyone got butt hurt at me when i didn't remove the replicant latch because sorry i wanted to do latch drops but now nah, i can't i don't i don't deserve happiness i'm just kidding <laughs> is this bad boy sharp let's find out yes it is that's very sharp cool all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna slash the shit out of myself. I already know it. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit, and then we'll sit down and talk. Perfect. Yeah, this totally wasn't filmed a month after I filmed everything else. You guys wanna hear a fun story? So I've been part of two uh, Facebook groups for like years. They were both uh, battle song groups. One of them, with a smaller group, it was like, whoa. It was like extremists. It was like white nationalists that like, that was into butterfly knives. That was the group that like 50 and all those other guys were in. They were like a little too crazy over there. So I left that one a while ago. And then the bigger group, that was the more like normal group, but they were still kind of like, you know, those guys. But anyway, I stayed in that group only to share my videos and post my videos. I shared the uh, BB Barfly videos there and there was one guy who commented, it was one of those guys that thinks trainers aren't real butterfly knives, you know, those kind of pretentious tools. And you know, I should be above arguing with someone that looks like they fucked their sister, but I just can't. If someone comes to me talking shit, I just feel morally inclined to talk shit back and just put them in their place. And I was doing that for a while because it's not, it wasn't hard to argue with him. Every one of his points were so easily retortable. Retortable? Is that even a real word? You know what's funny? Funny. Retort is a real word. But the other day I was arguing with someone else on Facebook and <laughs> he didn't think retort was a word. So when I used it in my argument against him, he was like, LOL, I'm arguing with the guy who misspelled resort. <laughs> Imagine not knowing retort is a word. Funny though is that guy was a lot like the guys in the like painfully white and openly racist battle song group. But anyway, this guy, he tried his darndest to try and convince me that trainers weren't real battle songs, but it's not hard to argue against if you have an IQ that's over, I don't know. And as I was putting this guy in his place, there was another guy who was like, I stopped listening as soon as he talked about the tolerances, which is really funny because nowadays, like all the like new school battle song flippers, they're really kind of anal about the tolerances, like battle songs that have any tap or any play, they're considered not good or something. I don't know. And me, I really could not care less. Let me show you my replicant. This has been my favorite flipper forever. Has tap as play. I could not care less. But I do know that there's people out there that care about that. So in a review of a product, of course I'm gonna fucking mention it. I'd just be a bad reviewer if I didn't mention it. And like the older school guys, they just use it as an insult towards the new school guys that they care about play and tap. But what's hilarious is those same old farts will be the first one to talk about the play and tap on a clone. I love battle songs, but man, some of the people in the community are just the biggest fucking clowns. So anyway, as I'm arguing with all these ding-dongs in this Facebook group, like I'm not trying to brag, but I was putting all of them in their place. Like it was, it's not hard 
hard. I wasn't fighting against scholars. Like, it's not hard to argue against five of these people. It's like arguing against one person who graduated high school. And what ended up happening was I got kicked from the group because, you know, I was being the toxic one. Anyway, that's a fun little story I'd bring up because there's going to be people that get butthurt at this video because this is a clone. And, you know, that's obviously a fucking war crime. Like, how boring does your life have to be to, like, care about a clone of a very niche knife that, like, five people are into? It was funny. <laughs> there was one comment I got and it was so fucking true. He was just like, the Balasong community consists of, like, eight people and you're two of them. <laughs> and then he was like, no, nah, just kidding. I love you, Den Den. Even though you're arguing about utensils on the internet. <laughs> it's so fucking true. Like, imagine caring. Anyway, I'm bagging on the boomer bitch boys too much. Let's talk about this. Chab clone. Now, your, pro your first question is probably like, Denny, did Euro Balasong send you this one? No. I didn't get this from Euro Balasong. It's the same one you get from Euro Balasong, but I didn't get it from them. I'm not gonna tell you where I got it. It's not hard to find where I got it from. I'm sure someone's gonna leave a comment, and I'm not gonna delete it, telling you where I got it from, but I didn't I didn't order it from Euro Balasong. Euro Balasong is being really weird. Um, to all the people who are messaging me, asking what's going on with Euro Balasong, and asking me if they're scamming, or if they're not, and I, I can see why you're messaging me, because I worked with them in the past, and you think I'd have some insider information, but no, I can't get in contact with them shit. They haven't replied to me since I made that apology video. So basically, the story there is people aren't getting the product and it's taken a really long time and a lot of people me included at first thought maybe they kind of dipped and started exit scamming because they also just weren't replying to people like no matter what like you could blow them up everywhere Facebook Instagram call them I don't, I don't know you could fucking ring their doorbell if you're in China and they just they would not get in contact with anyone and they were they went AWOL for like a few months and I was like I don't want to think they are but they're probably exit scamming so and I was actually gonna make a video about it at some point because I kind of took a lot of people in their direction and now they're those people are kind of getting fucked over but then a couple weeks ago, a while ago already, they came out and be like, hey, no, we're not exit scamming. Sorry, we were absent. We just couldn't find someone to ship out our products. So no, they aren't exit scamming. They're not scamming people. It is kind of fucked up that they haven't answered people. And I think they still aren't answering people, but they have since found someone who will ship out their products, but their backlog is like laughably large. So even though they're not scamming, I'm not going to recommend you guys go to the site because it's probably going to take like half a year for you guys to get your shit. And that sucks, but they're not scamming. I guarantee you will get your product at some point. I'm sorry. I only know as much as you guys do. I don't have any insider information or anything. I don't talk to them. I don't want to talk to them. This is not a video promoting them. If anything, I'd say avoid their site for now because it's just a fucking mess. They're not scamming, but if you order something from there, it's going to take fucking forever for you to get it. Don't go ordering a chab from your Bell song. If you can find the other place I ordered it from, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to promote that because one, I'm not getting paid to. Two, I don't want to deal with fucking even more backlash than I'm already going to get from this video. I know 50 is just cracking his little girl knuckles in anticipation, getting ready to type the fucking four hour long novel it's gonna take for him to write. And then Nardath is gonna write a hate comment too that doesn't make any fucking sense because he can't spell. But anyway, I got a chat clone. Why? Because it's a hundred dollar titanium channel handle balisong. This thing's made better than a lot of the production knives that are made today. It's got a bushing system, comes with spare parts, and listen to it. That sounds fucking amazing. And it flips phenomenally. It's literally one of the best flippers I have. Like, if the BB Barfly Pro V2 didn't exist, this would be the best $100 ballot song. Like, easy. Like, compared to other clones and even the, even other production knives that are, like, $100, it's no fucking contest against this thing. This thing could literally be sold for, like, $300. A regular BRS chab has tank pins. This has Zen pins. And who the fuck knows why BRS didn't make a version with tank pins, but honestly, this might be a better design because I don't feel that hot about about paying $500 for a battle song that comes with tang pins. Maybe that's just my Zen pin bias. I've kind of always liked Zen pins more. I feel like that's a better system. I'm sure they're fantastic tang pins, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of feel a little bit weird. First off, I just feel weird about paying $500 for anything, especially a tiny little knife. But for a tiny little knife with tang pins, that's kind of like... I don't know. The chat is still fucking amazing from what I've heard. It's just, I can get basically the same thing for a hundred dollars. It does come with spare parts. The bushings on it are probably going to come either undersized or oversized, but that is <laughs> but that is pretty easily fixable. And um, there's a lot of people who get these and then they tune the bushings themselves. And there's a lot of people who can get this thing to like zero play and zero tap. Bushings on mine are a hair oversized, but just barely so that there's just a little bit of tap and th there's play, but I don't give a shit. So I just can't be fucked to tune these bushings a little bit more because they're already fucking fine. The hardware on it probably isn't amazing. I, I'm sure there's some people that have stripped this hardware, but if you get, I think it's M3 and then M2 or something, you can get screws. You can get replacement screws and it'll just make this thing just fucking indestructible, basically. It's got solid channel titanium handles and it's $100. Like, 
Are you fucking serious? And then on top of that, it's built way nicer than any other clone that I've ever seen. On top of those two things, it flips really fucking good. Like, it flips. Everything on this thing just feels so easy. Pretty much hands down the best beater knife you could get. Since it's a clone, you don't have to care for it. It's not really going to hold its value at all. On top of that, I want to get into anodizing, and this is the perfect thing to anodize. Because it's titanium, and it was only $100, so if I fuck up, I don't have to, I don't have to care that much. Alright, I think I jerked this thing off enough. Let's go into the flipping demo. Alright, official sound test for the Chad clone. Featuring these crows that are fighting up in this tree. So here we go. Obviously, this thing sounds amazing. Ugh. There's, there's the balance point on it. It feels pretty neutral, but a little handle bias. Twirling feels good. Choker fans feel great. Aerials are easy to time, like super easy to time. Ladders feel really good. Rollovers carry really nice. Scissors feel all right. I just kind of suck at them, so they never really feel that good. I really enjoy it. It's really hot out here. Now, since it is heavier, my hand is getting tired. The carpal tunnel is kicking in. Story of my life. Oh, yeah, see, ready? Oh, but yeah, so far, this thing feels amazing. I'm definitely gonna be flipping this one a lot. It'll definitely be my new beater, because that's what I got it for. Like that replicant clone, it was really good and it did flip really good, but it was nothing compared to this. This thing is incredible. First flipping impressions are that this thing's awesome. These crows won't stop screeching like Nardath and Culturefile and 50 and all those other pretentious tools. Now there's gonna be a bunch of people that are in the comments being like, it's not a clone, it's a counterfeit. They're blatantly stealing from BRS. Calm down, I appreciate your hustle, but you're not right. <laughs> According to copyright law, there needs to be like three significant changes to the product in order for it to not be a counterfeit. They've done that. <laughs> Fucking dogs. What? Better check your holes. Fucking chihuahuas. This thing is not a direct blatant copy like most other clones are. Instead of using tank pins, they use zen pins on this thing. Changes the design. We get into the same argument of like a Gibson Les Paul versus an ESP Eclipse. It's very obvious what it's trying to be, but they've made the significant changes for it to not be a straight up counterfeit. I already know 50's just twitching like a crack that he is. Ready to type and be like, LOL, you think you have any authority about what a clone versus a counterfeit is? It's not my authority. That's the law's authority, okay? Like, I'm sorry that offends you, kid but I don't make laws. I just have fun playing with knives and I don't take it as seriously as you do because I'm not a pretentious tool. So yeah, that's kind of what sets it apart from all the other clones is that it's just so much better than any other clone that's probably ever existed and it's not a full-blown counterfeit like most of them. To the people that are just having a fucking panic attack right now over this video, I'm really sorry. I just don't care. You shouldn't take this so seriously. We're all just here playing with toy niche knives, okay? It's nothing to get stressed out over. I'm not the one who makes these. I just bought one. Does that make me Adolf Hitler? I'm sure in some people's eyes, yes, but to most people that have working brains, no. I realize that they're not the most amazing thing in the world. It's kind of a fucked up thing to do, but at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. And also, if it can get someone who wouldn't otherwise be able to into flipping, then that's all right with me. I'd rather you flip a clone than flip nothing. You know, I, I kind of feel bad, because I know that I'm just making a bunch of old men cry right now. But also, for some reason, just something inside me is telling me that these people, the people who get really upset about clones, probably the same people that scream all lives matter as a retort to black lives matter. It's the same people that say, you should have just followed the law. You should to just listen. But they're also the same people that think wearing a mask is fucking stealing their rights. Oh Jesus, imagine being that fucking retarded. Yeah, the Twin Towers got attacked, and that's really sad and everything. But guys, all buildings matter. Oh man, some people's fucking kids. I mean, I'm trying to talk, but I can't stop flipping this thing. I'm gonna put it up, I'm gonna put it aside. If you can find it, and you want a battle song for a hundred bucks, that's an amazing flipper that you don't really have to care for that much, that can be your beater, that will also be an amazing flipper for you. It could also be something that you could mod, kind of customize without really having to care or about retaining it value, you'll also become ostracized by the community of old white men that dedicate their lives to hunting down and bullying people that are usually children for having the audacity to buy a clone. They're also probably the same people that support Trump, are racist, and fuck their cousins. So, you know, maybe you want to offend those people. But who's getting political? God damn it. Now I'm going to get called a fucking liberal on the comments. 
What am I going to do? For transparency's sake, I think the left and the right can go fuck themselves. The right wing and the left wing are just the two wings of the same fucking mentally retarded bird known as the United States of America. That's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions. To all the butthurt palace song bitch boy boomers that I offended in this video, go ahead and leave your hate comment. I will give you as long as you need because I know writing these comments can take a while. So spend as much time as you want. Take an hour, take five hours, take a few days, take a week, take a month. Take as long as you need. Definitely let me know how you feel because obviously I care and your poorly written comment that took you five hours to come up with is going to deeply offend me. It's just strike me the right spot. It'll just make me want to, it'll just make me want to never buy a clone again. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, share the video around, subscribe for more if you haven't already and you enjoy the content that I put out. This has been my unboxing first impressions month later review. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.